Hello, today I'm going to be doing my first gameplay on Forza Motorsport 7, which has only just released. I'm also using a new Xbox One Elite controller. Which should be interesting, not used one that much before. But here's the game. Nice Porsche GT2 RS there. It's actually supposed to come with a model. It was actually supposed to come with a nice model one of these, but it came with a rather rubbishy looking plastic toy one, which was rather disappointing. I'm already signed in, what? Why are you getting me to sign in? Nice Nissan GTR. GT3 cars. Every driver has a story to tell of their first race, their first race car. Drivers will talk about their victories, their losses, and their journey. Here is the starting point for racing dreams, where aspiring drivers begin forging their own legacy. For a select devoted few, awaits not just the finish line, but the chance to become a racing legend. Well, that makes it sound exciting. Hopefully Welcome it's as good as that. Forza Motorsport. Ooh, I'm nice here garage. to help you achieve racing glory. This is where your journey starts. And trust me when I say it's going to be a hard-fought, hard-driving road to win the cup. It'll be a road full of choices you'll have to make. And here's the first one. Who are you? Time to pick out your Ooh, first drive of the year. Forward. You'll come across more as you race. White, red, and blue and purple. Well, green and purple. Let's go green and purple. From here, you have a choice between starting your campaign for the Forza Drivers' Cup, jumping into multiplayer to race against drivers from all over the world, or exploring at your own pace. I think we'll explore our own pace, shall we? In these crates, Price you'll find crates. driver Ooh. gear, mods, and special vehicles to add to your collection. Interesting. Three ready to open. So I have three VIP crates, okay. What's in that? I like how it opens, that's cool. Okay. Nice cars. Legendary 2014 BMW M4 Coupe. Legendary Chevrolet Camaro Supersport Coupe Forza Edition. That's nice. And two new suits and credits. Sell. I'm quite happy with the suit I'm using. Oh, do you have to choose which one you want? Oh, let's open another one. Ooh, VIP purple. Might have to equip that. Or do I want a Ford Escort RS Cosworth? We've already got a car, I'll equip that. 
Can you equip and accept that? Does that work? Nissan, unless it gives me everything that was shown in there. Can I look at... Oh, there we go. My garage. Oh, I like that, how it spins. Oh, wow. So I did get everything from the crate. Nice. So I've got quite a collection already. Oh, it's quite instant when you flip from car to car. Nice. What's this? Is this? Car collecting isn't just a great way to have plenty of cars at your disposal. It's also a solid way to get better rewards. The right. more cars you get, the better your milestone rewards will be. Okay, every car has a score attached to it. And the more cars you collect, the higher kind of your car collection score. And that'll mean unlocking even more fantastic cars at higher tiers. Yeah, this came with the Fast and Furious pack, so I've got these. And these, apparently. There's an F-Type in the Fast and the Furious. Why are they all locked? There's so many cars I can't have yet. That's kind of annoying. Unless you can just buy anything in here. No, they are actually locked. Can't buy any Aston Martins yet. Ooh, DB4. Which is a guard. Three cars. Well, these are all mine anyway. Interesting. That Jaguar. Ooh, what's Occasionally, this? a special vendor drops by for a limited time. The vendor might have cars for sale you can't find anywhere else. And you can buy these cars no matter your collection status. So keep an eye out. That's nice. Okay. That's a shame. Oh, coming soon. That's not there yet, right? Is that this car? Okay, this is kind of interesting. Let's see if it's similar to. It's very similar to Forza Horizon 3. Don't want to paint that though, it's already got quite a nice look to it. I might get into that in a later video. Probably time I went to drive something, really, isn't it? Car sled. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't really want to in 20 of that yet but maybe in a later video we have multiplayer single player home progress marketplace coming soon okay so that's not there I guess we should start with some Forza Drivers Cup so this will be my first Never drive on here. Presumably it'll put lots of assists off it, on, which I'll need to switch off. largest, most diverse, mm. sanctioned motorsport series. For decades, it's drawn the racing world's best. To win, it will take speed, versatility, mm, and adaptability. Spanning five continents and the world's most legendary circuits, 
only a Some few good tracks will climb to the top, where racing immortality awaits the winner. But first, step into the shoes of past winners and learn what it takes to win driving's top prize. Okay. Speed. Nice radical. The defining element of racing. Speed is more than the miracles of engineering and design. It is drivers who embrace the pursuit of going ever McLaren faster. McLaren F1 LM. Last Not LM, season's LT. cup winner, Michael Mueller, is one of those drivers. Known for is bringing record-breaking cars nice to the track, he turned heads at the Dubai Invitational when he drove a car no one knew existed. We all know it exists. It's the Porsche GT2 RS. It's just to set the fastest Nurburgring time. But okay. Maybe this was before that. Okay, so I'm now that Michael guy for a race, am I? Oh, what the Yeah, I know how to steer on Forza. Oh, there we go. Right, I hate these assists. Forces. Oh, there's going to be a force of them on here. Let's Maybe go to assist. assist here to tweak how your car handles. Yeah, I know. Suggested line off. Who wants a suggested line? ABS will have on. Put that on to sim. Traction control will leave on for now. Stability control. Shifting manual. Simulation. Probably. Rewind off. Friction assist. Off. Okay, done. Better. Of course I don't know this road, so maybe I'd have been better leaving the braking recommendation on. Very nice landscape, by the way. This actually feels a lot more real than I was expecting from a Forza game. Especially after playing Project Cars 2, which is much more of a simulation. This is rear downforce damage, does that mean I've lost my way? No. Not quite that damage. I suppose really, I need stability management on for now. It probably shouldn't really be quite that. It just doesn't turn. It's understeer and oversteer all at once, which is just a bad car. It shouldn't be. Oh, now it's telling me to modify my assists because I'm doing so bad. Nope. 
Right, I'll put that on. Leave all of that as it is. Oh no, I pressed cancel, didn't I? Damn it. All I did was put that. straight. Ah, there's only a one lap race. Okay, fair enough. So, last in our first race. Versatility means becoming a master of any vehicle. To win the cup, drivers must be versatile because they will not win with just one yeah, car. McLaren no F1 how much P1 GTR. Amazing. At Mugello, Maria Rossi earned the series points lead and eventually nice. the Forza Drivers' Cup itself by having the skill to drive something as unconventional we're going in a as truck. a racing truck. I think we're going in a racing truck. Yeah, sorry, my driving is not great. I'm kind of getting used to the new game. It handles quite differently to Project Cars 2, as you'd imagine. And with the Elite Controller that I've not used before. I'm not entirely comfortable with it yet. But truck should be fun. I might turn some of those assists back off again later in the game. Guys are all driving quite slowly. Oh, let us through. Oh, squashed out of the way there. This is truck racing. It's supposed to be a contact sport. What's all the HUD display? Like the speed and stuff. Oh, I like this. Don't really know this track. I might have driven this track once on a certain course. This truck has a lot more grip than you'd imagine. Maybe not enough grip to do that corner in seventh. Really? Nobody ever took me? I like this truck. Didn't know what I think of a racing truck. It's good. I wonder what it'll be like without the stability assist on. How do I get the HUD? Hard. Camera view cockpit. Okay, simulation map. All means of cars. Speedometer and log. Yeah, but where is it? Back. 
Oh, it was there. Am I going mad? It was there, wasn't it? Right, as we're pulling a bit of a lead, I think we should put that off for now. See how it handles. Oh. Put it off and then you've already won. Never mind. Presumably we're going to go through the last three Falls of Cup winners. Made up Falls of Cup winners. Before we can start. Ooh. Rain. Well, that's stability management back on again. Only the prepared will be able to cope with any change on the track. Cup legend Yukio Takagi is renowned for remaining focused even during a downpour. Okay, so we're in the rain. Drivers, cup, drivers must adapt because speed and versatility are nothing when no two laps are the same. Okay. Oh, Suzuka. This is tracker now. Nice car. This should be good. All one lap races, though, which is kind of disappointing. They probably won't be as you progress. It'll be good to have a go on multiplayer as well at some point. Now I need to turn that assist back on, I think. Unless we just hope this Nissan GTR's four wheel drive is helpful. It's pretty good. Taking a shortcut, are we? We nearly did the same there. This standing water isn't very realistic. You just sort of go through it. You don't slide at all. Well, he said, sliding. <laughs> but it's not where the standing water is. It's just if you put too much power down because you're going to need it. No, it doesn't vary where there's water, the grip level is the grip level. Mess that corner up. We've gone into the sand. Well, we're not last. There's not much of this lap left. Why are they driving so slowly, though? I mean, it is wet, and I just crashed by driving too fast, but on the straight, we don't really need to go that slowly. Yeah, that was surprisingly good, considering the stability control wasn't on. And that's Nissan GTR four-wheel drive. It's supposed to be good.
So yeah, still quite real. Not quite as real as Project Cars 2, but that's to be expected, as Project Cars 2 is more of a simulation than this. Yeah, pretty good so far. I don't like how some of the cars are locked. That was never a thing on Forza games and before. Seen what it takes to win. Speed, versatility, and adaptability. Now, okay. it's up to you. You're about to take part in the premier contest in all of racing. Premier. The Forza premier. Drivers Cup draws only the best. Yeah, it'll be a challenge. But when you lift that trophy, everyone will know you're the world's greatest driver. Okay. Welcome to the Seeker Championship. So the Seeker Championship is the first championship Featuring different types of vehicles. So, Ooh, trophy it's trucks. time to make a choice. Why is this a Which series will collection? you choose first? Oh, what? Historic road race and modern hot hatch. Here modern hot hatch, racing, I guess. You'll need a car. Now, the I wish I'd gone historic then so I could use that. Go ahead and pick what you want. These cars prove you shouldn't judge a vehicle by its size. Oh, Designed and built for performance and practicality. Six nine five. These hot hatches six. are perfect for racing around tight road circuits. Ooh. That's that's my favourite so far. That won't be bad. Seriously? That's not really hot enough to be a hot hatch, to be honest. Ooh, Golf R. 2010 Volkswagen Golf R. 2040, okay. So that's just new. So, Golf R. Or... Not that. Focus RS. Let's get Focus RS. new designs that you can use to personalise your car. Oh yeah, there's not going to be many recommended designs available yet. Okay, I take that back, there's quite a few. Why is that image gone all squashed? Good. Okay then, that's interesting. That I like, but that's just a... Let's just go colours. And it has to be, is it nitrous blue? So we've actually bought our first car after winning some in those crates. I suppose crates is kind of like real spins on last minute choices. Forza Horizon. You can change your gear, tune your car, and more. Never hurts to give everything one more look before you hit the track. Yeah, this is the only car that I can enter this in. Maple Valley, I don't think I've raced here before. How do I start? Loading. I've already selected car, how do I... How do you actually get to the race? Or is it just loading? Ah, there we go. Maybe I should have gone and painted the car in one of my own colours rather than just going to the manufacturer. Nitrous blue, but nitrous blue is a nice colour. Keep things properly mixed. Let's go. This race. First race in my own car. Away, that four-wheel drive launch is amazing. We're gonna have to turn these driver difficulty up a bit, I think. As soon as he messed the first corner up because he doesn't know where he's going.
problem is going to be if I get out ahead of everybody, I'm going to be entirely lost. Four wheel drive saving me from my loss of direction because I don't know where I'm going. All over the place with the gears. So here's yeah, the Golf R, the other car I almost bought. Let's sit behind him and he'll show us around. This is when you need the braking point line to tell you where to brake. But that's kind of cheating really, isn't it? But it might be useful to learn the track like that before I try and drive. Go past him, let's go past him and then try and Oh So hear those exhaust crackers, that was nice. Well we've messed up and he's past again. No he's not because we've still got the inside line. That four wheel drive keeping us nice and stable through there. Got to manage two more laps after this on my own, not following anybody I think this is a second gear corner plenty of grip as we come out of there go four wheel drive yeah we really need to turn the difficulty of these drivers up <coughs> if that's something we can do like this. It's been third for that one. And fourth round this long sweeping one. Whoa, we're getting the hang of this track now. Second into here. Oh. And power through the corner. Oh, it's nice the steering input on this elite controller actually. You can put in just the amount of lock you need. A lot more easily, a lot more smoothly than you can with the other controller. Not quite as good as a wheel would be, not that I've really used wheels all that much. I am looking at getting hold of a wheel at some point. Soon probably. Just the right speed through there. Almost too fast. Clip the apex. Power up the corner. Oh, we're already on our last lap. Okay then. And across the line. Yeah, the, the AI drivers on here are just terrible. Whether that's the easy settings I've got them Wow, how annoying somebody shouting at you when you... Nice job. Our regulations state that no matter how you do in any given race, you'll acquire series points. But the better you finish, the more points you earn. Yay! Right, let's get up there. See if there's any way you can turn the driver difficulty up because I haven't seen that anywhere. Maybe you just can't. You're pretty rubbish if you can't. Maybe. You want to know how to get some easy rewards? Just keep driving. Yeah, yeah. Is the like the settings? Settings. Options.
No. Not there. What's this bit? Okay, this is all about me. I do like the garage though, the spinning cars. Oh come on, it loaded quicker than that before. That BMW is nice. And Forza Edition Camaro Super Sport Coupe, that's quite nice. Not sure about the yellow. Let's paint this a bit. The auction house would be good once that's there. Let's find a nut. Oh no, not that. No, I want to paint the car, not apply decals. Decals where you pull down things. Right, so it's going to take an hour to load that and then we're going to go back in. Anyway. In my designs, arrays, can't select, okay, paint, preparing paint shop, yes, paint body I think, one of these might be nice, base colour, Maybe black card. That is nice. Mirrors you can't paint, you probably can't paint that. Can you paint the wheels? Let's leave that. Tint windows? Yeah, go on. Oh, save. That looks a bit better. That yellow is a bit sort of flat, so sort of two tone effects are nice. What else can we do? Ooh. A mulligan, interesting. Okay, it's already optimised, okay. Mm. No, not, not wheels. Can we lower? Okay, let's leave that. Lots of wheel options, but they're Quite nice actually. So where is somewhere presumably this tunes are okay there we go. Upgrade shop as normal. Conversion or what can we put in here? Okay, yeah, but what is the engine? Okay, here's the options. Brake division restore, okay. V8, 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 hmm. I like how you can swing the angle in the car wherever you are in the garage. Looks good though. Take a moment to explore your car in great detail. Go ahead, climb around inside. Explode. 
Well, that's not really exploding, that's opening the doors. Okay, that's pretty standard inside. Well, that's a bad thing. Nice. Yeah, it's true you can't wander around your whole car collection. Oh look, there's the turntable where the cars sit when you're looking through your cars. That's probably enough for the first Forza Motorsport 7 video. Enjoying the new controller, might do a more detailed look at that in the future. Uh, but yeah, next time we'll maybe go online or do some proper customising if I can think of a car that I want to do it. Yeah, we'll probably go online next time. We'll play around with that a bit. But yeah, that's Forza Motorsport 7. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye!